Hello guys, welcome back to Economics 1B, the monetary sector. I'm Ellie and I quickly want to discuss two exam questions with you. The first exam question is how will a change, remember that triangle means change, how will a change in the income level affect the amount of money demanded? How will a change in the income level affect the amount of money demanded? Now, when you draw the graph, we have interest and we have money. We have our L1, which depends on income, and we have our L2, which depends on interest rate. And here we have M1. All right. What will happen? Okay, and then we have our total demand for money. Don't forget about that one. That one runs there. Oh, that's very skew and terrible. Total demand for money, which we discussed on a previous video, and this is total. How do they mark it? I think they just call it L. Yo. Okay, that's total L. So that's, let's say, L1 plus L2. Now they're saying, how will a change in the income level affect the amount of money demanded? So the income level is this one. If the income level increases, it'll shift to the right. If the income level decreases, it'll shift to the left. So it'll go that way. If it goes less, and it'll go that way, if it goes more. Which means that if the income level increases, we will have a new line. Let me just double check myself. Yes, this one moves there. And here we have... That's Y1, L1 for Y2. Y2 is where the, inco the income level increased. If that one moves out, then that one will move out. So our original point would have been this one and this one. Where now, let's say that's our total point. This one will move out, so that one will move out. So that will be our new point, which means more money will be demanded. Great. Next one. What about the interest rate level? I'm running a bit fast, but it is in the tut letter, um, page 19. So if you're interested in doing well in the exam, go check out page 19. The second question is, how will the interest rate level, so we go interest rate here, money here, L1 here, which depends on Y, L2 here, which depends on interest rate, and the two plus together, which is that one and that one together, which will give us L, which is L1 plus L2. Okay. What will happen when the interest rate level changes? So when the interest rate level changes, this is actually very interesting. Let's start with this point. A. If our original interest rate was over here, interest rate 1, our demand for L2 was there, and we plus our M1 to that one, so that would be M1, and that is our first point on the curve. Now, if the interest rate goes down, we have point B. And then this goes down all the way here, which means we had our money at interest rate 1. Sure, I don't know how to depict this. Let's make it A. And then that changes to here to interest rate B. And as you can see, the demand for money increased. Okay, so what happens when the interest rate goes down? The total demand for money increases. Okay, there's a very nice description on page 20 of the Tut Letter. Go and read it. It's fantastic. And good luck. Cheers.